Okay, here we're going to look at uh, dictionaries. You've seen these in Python. In Java, these are going to be called maps. And what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to associate keys, particular values. So keys are the things we're going to uh, use to look up something up. You can imagine that's like someone's name in a phone book. And the value is the thing we're actually trying to use the key to look up. So that could be like someone's phone number. And you've seen these in Racket using association lists. And this, this video is going to have us practice some Racket stuff. Okay, so in Racket, I've created a list of lists that I'm calling my meals. And the keys are going to be the meal. And the values are going to be what food I'm having for that meal. Okay, so the important thing to see here is that it's a list of lists. And we use these types of uh, lists of lists or association lists when we did Scrabble. So if I look at what meals is, it's that list of lists. Now we can call a soch, and I want to look for my key. So I want to say, yo, uh, what was I having for dinner? And I want to look inside of my association list meals. And you can see what it returned was dinner pasta. So it re uh, returns both the key, dinner, and the value, pasta. Okay, just one more example. A soch, snack in meals. I can see I get snack and popcorn. Okay, if I look for something that's not in there, like say I look for second lunch uh, in meals, that's not in there, so I get false. Okay, now I have two problems for you to solve before going on. First, I want you to try and write a soch. And after writing a soch, I want you to think about the recurrence relationship that can describe the big O runtime of a soch. And then I want you to think about using something like this association list in Racket or something else that's a list, uh, an unordered list to hold our map. And again, a map is a mapping between keys and values. What would be the big O runtime to find something in there? Okay, so write a SOS, write a recurrence relationship, and then I want you to think about the big O runtime. Pause it here. Okay, I'll bounce back to Racket to write a SOS. And conceptually, associate is taking a key and then our map. But map is a function in Racket, so we don't want to reuse that variable name. Sorry, we don't want to reuse that as a variable name. Uh, and so I'll call it a list of lists. If my list of lists is empty, uh, then that means that I haven't found it in that list, and I should return false. And that's the example where I looked for the key second lunch, and it wasn't in there. Now, otherwise, I want to check if that key is the first thing in my list. So I want to check if equal that key to the first of the first of the list of lists. So if we looked at the example above, the first thing would be that list breakfast coffee. And I want to get out the just the breakfast part, just the key of it. So if the key does match, then based upon what how a soch behaves, I want to return that full sublist. So here I'm just going to return the first of that list of lists. Okay, if I didn't find it, I need to recurse. So I'm gonna call a soch again, the key doesn't change, and I wanna take the rest of the list of lists. Okay, as an exercise, you could have used a cond, and I'll show you the code for that in a second. So you might pause it and try writing it with cond if that still seems challenging. Okay, now for the recurrence relationship. If I call my recur, uh, if I call a soch with a list of lists that LOL has a length of zero, then it's just gonna take one step. And then if I call that recursive call a soch with, uh, and here I'm going to say n is the length of list of lists. Okay, so if I call it with something larger than that, so a longer list than an empty list, then it's going to take one step plus make a recursive call with one smaller. And this is for all n greater than zero. And we can double check that this one is correct. Were we calling any methods that were O of n? So we called empty and if and equal and first and first and rest. Okay, first and rest and if we're an empty, we're super sure our O of one. Equal is a little bit trickier because imagine your key was a thousand element long list. You know, and if the first of the first of the list of lists was a thousand and one elements and all of them were equal except for that last element, then you can imagine our implementation of equal would go and compare every element in the, that key. Okay, but this is the scenario where that key is a variable length and we're just gonna assume constant length, length keys such that that equal question mark is just gonna be a constant. Sorry, a constant amount of time. Okay, looking at this recurrence relationship, we're like, yo, 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 we've seen this before. This one is just going to be an O of N. And the bigger picture here is that if we're storing our map 
Again, a map is association between a key sets of keys and values. If we're storing our map, or another name for that is dictionary, if we're storing our map or dictionary in a list, then we're gonna have to look through every element in that list to try and find the key we're looking for. And so in the worst case scenario, that's gonna be O of N. And it's super important to define our variable N here because our code doesn't actually involve an N. That N is the length of our input list, list of lists. And you can imagine that we might actually uh, find it before the end. So someone might say that it's in O of K, where K is the location of the element in the list. But with big O, we're focused on an upper bound. And we know that, okay, yeah, we might find it early. But if N is the length of the list, that's going to be the right upper bound for us. Okay, and then one more thing that uh, a soch written with a cond. Okay, there's that associate written with a cond.